Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve the problem of the day, which is next happy number, in which we have been given a non-negative integer, and and all we have to do is to find the next smallest happy number. So what is a happy number? So they have said that a happy number, a number is called happy number if it leads to one after a sequence of steps. Wherein each step is replaced, each step the number is replaced by the sum of square of its digits. If we start with a happy number and keep on replacing it with sum of square of digits, we reach one. So this might sound a bit confusing. So let us look at the test case and we will get to know what is happening. So we have, for example, eight here and equals eight. Right, so what they have said is, so next happy number we can have, since if we keep on doing the eight square, we will get to see 64. Again, we will take the separate digits and do the square. So we'll get six square plus four square. So what we'll get is 36 plus 16. So what is 36 plus 16? This is nothing but, this is 2, this is 5, 52. Right, again, we will take these two separate digits and do the square. And uh, I know for a fact that uh, it will keep on repeating and we will ne never get a 1. Right, so the this 8 is not a happy number. I have dry run it already. So that's why I know that. So the only happy number I got from the from the range 1 to 10 were 1, 7, and 10. So if we keep on doing the, so 1 is already happy number, so we return 1. But for 7, we will have to dry run. Since what we can do is, if we, are, we have been given 7, what we can do is take the 7 square, then we will get 49. Then we will take 4 square plus 9 square we will get, this is 81 and this is 16. So 81 plus 16 is nothing but 97. So then we will do uh, 9 square plus 7 square. This is nothing but 81 plus 49, right? So let me calculate 81 plus 49. 41 plus 49 is nothing but 130. All right, and again, we will do one square plus three square plus zero square. We will get 10, right? And when we do this one square zero square of this 10, we will get one. Right? So for a fact, I know that uh, the only happy numbers in the range one to 10 are one, seven and 10 and rest are the unhappy numbers. So in that case, if we get to see, if we don't find any happy numbers, we will return minus one. Otherwise, what what I have done is, first of all, whatever number I have been given, uh, I have been iterated from the n plus one, which is uh, nothing but if I, I were given eight. So what I have to find is the next smallest happy number, right? Next smallest happy number. So I have to start from the nine, at least nine. Uh, so, so I started from the nine and uh, made a function which uh, checks if the number 9 is happy or not. So how to check if a number is happy? So I have already told you first what we will do. We will take the square of single digits. So in this case, 9 is already a single digit. So we take the square of 9. We get 81. Again, we, we, we do this process. So what we will do? We will do 8 square plus 1 square. And again, we'll get something result, some result. And again, we do the same thing. So what I have done is I have created a loop in order to create the sum of square of the number. And I have called recursion after I, I calculated the very first sum of square of digits because recursion can do the rest, All right? So that's how I have completed this problem. I have solved this problem using bigo one space auxiliary space and n log n time complexity. So let's solve this problem.
So let me first write down a list which will start from n plus one and go on until the maximum range. All right, maximum range. So because this sequence can go until the maximum integer. For example, uh, if you take if you take six, then it is an infinite loop, right? So when this loop will stop, should stop, it should stop at least at the maximum integer value, right? Because after that there is nothing with your code will crash, okay? Because this is a int data type, so it can maximum its maximum value can be int max. So what I will be doing is to call the my my check function. So I'll be passing my integer i, and if it uh, if my check function does not pass return minus one value, then I'll return one. I'll return the integer i, right? So as you can see, if uh I have I have returned this check of i will return me the next happy number right so i will return i otherwise if i don't get any happy number then i return minus so now let us write the check function okay. check in which i'll be passing my number n and as i said if my number is one or number is seven or my number is ten then i return it then i return one otherwise if my number is less than 10 and if it has any other value we will return minus one and we will exit from this check point now all i have to do is to calculate the sum of square of the number so this is quite easy i will take a sum variable and then while n i will take an integer x in which i will be holding the uh, square of the last very last digit and multiplied by n modulo 10. So I've got the last digit. Now I will calculate its square and I will decrement, I will eliminate that last digit from my number and I will be adding that square number, square digit to my sum. Now I have calculated this, this sum, right? So now I have to again repeat this step, which means I have to again calculate a square plus one square, right? For that, I will I will simply call my check function. So now all I have to do is to call the check function by passing the sum. So what this should do, let us compile and run. So let us submit. Thank you.